Now, KSBW presents High School Playbook Blitz. The third undefeated team and perhaps the strongest of them all, Aptos, back on the field facing the Christopher Cougars. Aptos, so much, look at the fireworks. So pretty. Up in Gilroy, Aptos with the ball. Hunter Mattis, this is pretty too. Finding Shane Madena, the tight end, just wide open. Brings them down into the Cougars' red zone. Aptos here fakes one handoff, then flips it to Marcos Reyes, who, as we know, is a certified beast. He takes it in for a Mariners touchdown. Cougars will get the ball. J.J. Watt, a.k.a. Trevor Catesi, gets a hand on it. The ball is picked off by Dre Gomez. From one Dre to another, congratulations, Dre. Goes for a pick six. The Aptos defense looking mean tonight. Josh Powell coming off the edge, pulling down the quarterback for a sack. Aptos taking over on offense. Mattis will keep it. Get some nice blocks downfield, and he's just an athlete. So he's going to outrun you if he doesn't get a block to get around you. 20-yard touchdown for Mattis. That Aptos still perfect after tonight's 54-7 victory. Monterey High School, my Torridors, right. trying to hold on to that number one spot in the Cypress Division. They're playing San Lorenzo Valley tonight. The Cougars in the shotgun. They're going to go with a pass here to Jacob Aldridge. Remember that name. He's wrapped up immediately here, but like I said, remember, Jacob Aldridge. No points from that drive for SLV. Here come the doors. Evans Charles surrounded by runners in the backfield, but they decide to pass it. It's picked off by Jacob Aldridge. He has hands. He's on both sides of the field. So SLV using that momentum, trying to capitalize on the turnover. Stevie Markey throws it up to Jacob Aldridge. Somebody cover that guy. 33-yard catch into Monterey territory. The Doors bringing the pressure here. You're going to see Marquis running for his life. Somehow escapes it and finds Andre Giandana. Not Jacob Aldridge, but SLV getting closer and closer. This a tough game. Tied into the fourth quarter, but Monterey does hold on. They win it 23-17. to The Alisal Trojans on the road in Watsonville taking on the Wildcats, Alice Al right around midfield. Julian Renteria throws up a dime over the double coverage to Israel Corona. That's about a 50 plus yard Alice Al touchdown. Alice Al back on offense, throwing it up again. This time though, it's picked off. Clutch play, Eric Maldonado of Watsonville pulling down the interception and a nice little return there. Alice Al though, gets them back. Revenge is sweet for the Trojans. Rodrigo Ruiz in the quarterback's face, forces the bad throw. Frankie Hernandez picks it off and goes 33 yards for the Alisal pick six. The Wildcats scoring here. This was their only score of the night. Oscar Magana with the pass to Matthew Barcelo. He did hold on to it. You see the ref's hands in the air giving this touchdown. Big win for the Trojans, 45 to seven, the final score there. Undefeated Gonzalez, the Spartans, with a South County matchup against Greenfield. There you see a nice run from Greenfield, their running back. But we're going to start with Gonzalez on offense. Peyton Flores, an absolute animal. The spin move, pressing the circle button. Another one. Taking it downfield. How about a monster stiff arm like he's Vance McDonald or something? Cutting outside. You cannot bring this man down. Peyton Flores, 70-yard touchdown run for the Spartans. The first two times he touched the ball tonight, touchdowns. He had three in the first half. We do have a nice run here from Greenfield. Jaime Soto taking about 35 yards downfield into Gonzalez territory, but the Spartans will get the ball back. They flip it to Flores, and he can pass. If you haven't seen Friday Night Lights, I don't know what to tell you, you're missing out. Raul Morales pulls it in. First down for the Spartans, and the trick plays just keep on coming. To Flores, back to Morales, and Alex Morga, wide open, going way downfield for another Gonzalez touchdown. Gonzalez holding on to their perfect record after a 62-7 victory over Greenfield. The Spartans are now 8-0. And, oh. and we got to give it up to Peyton Flores, making school history tonight. He now has the single season rushing record, passing the man next to him, Ignacio Guzman, for that record. Been an absolute pleasure covering such a talented athlete in Peyton. Thank you for all of the highlights. You make my job way easier. The Scotts Valley Falcons surprising their head coach tonight, Louis Walters. This was at halftime. Coach Walters is retiring after almost two decades at the school. He also serves as the Falcons athletic director, so we want to wish 
Coach Walters, congratulations on such a great career. After all the ceremonies, he had to get back and coach his team, Scotts Valley, playing against Soledad tonight, this game up in Santa Cruz County. The Aztecs on offense first, Christopher Gonzalez. Running down the sideline, takes a big hit and is pushed out of bounds. Right around the red zone. They do get down to the goal line on this drive. Gabriel Flores takes it from there, a quarterback sneak to get on the board. Scotts Valley with the ball, play action. Kyle Rahala finding Casey Collins on the crossing route. That brings him down to about the five yard line. Rahala gonna go right back to him. It worked the first time. This one even better, goes in for six. Scotts Valley with the touchdown. It was a close game. But Soledad pulls it off a late game too, 20 to 14. They win their first game of the season. Monta Vista Christian Mustangs taking the field this weekend. They have a big trip all the way down to Monrovia. That's right outside Pasadena. They'll be playing against the Monrovia High School Wildcats. This is a non-league game, obviously, for the Mustangs. They are three and four this season, second place in the Mission Division. And remember, if you miss any of the scores, any of the highlights, you can find them on our website, that is ksbw.com.